The content of this podcast is provided for general informational purposes only and is not intended as, nor should it be considered a substitute for, professional medical advice. Sweaty and pissed, sweaty and pissed, menopause makes me sweaty and pissed. Well, hello. Hi, Leanne. We're (laughs) back. Yay. Can you believe it? I know. I'm excited. I Welcome, am too. everyone. Yes. We've missed you. I've missed Leanne. I've missed you, Karen. Well, I know. I know. But I've missed my forest. I know. Forest is still producing for us. We're happy to say. And I know. And beautiful in red. That's his color. Yes. Did it he is. ever wear that to prom? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sweaty and pissed, menopause and more. Right, sweaty and pissed. <laughs> Forgot to name that, didn't we? We were, we're a little rusty. And since I've seen you, I'm very sweaty and pissed. Really? Well, not so much, not pissed, just sweaty. sweaty. And yes, but um, but yes, yeah, so I'm glad to be back. And I know that you have been so patient with me, and I treat you like I'm John F. Kennedy, and you're my personal physician. <laughs> and I call you with I, when I have stomach bugs, and I'm traveling and doing and i have diarrhea somewhere whatever but you've been good to me but i had to i have been through a lot yes you have my little mama i'll just tell people my little mama lucille who is so fun and darling um had a stroke february the third and woke up in the middle of the night and my little daddy said that she was red as a beet and you couldn't even touch her she was so hot and she said i think i'm gonna throw up and she he got her a towel and he, she said you need to call an ambulance and then she said no don't i'll be fine i'm just sick to my stomach let me go back to bed and he had a gut feeling and praise god called an ambulance and they live out in the country mm-hmm. an ambulance came and got her took her to springfield hospital in robertson county in tennessee which is a you know, in the middle of nowhere, really. Yeah. But but about, I don't know how long from Nashville, about 35, 40 miles. And they life-flighted her to Vanderbilt and got her there within a certain amount of time. Went in the back of her skull, operated. And I know you need to know medical terms, and you know me. <laughs> I don't remember things. It's okay. But she, um, so, but they stopped it. And um, and she was in the hospital seventy something days, and really with the stroke she was okay. It was okay. It was she started getting infection and leaking yeah. back there, and they would say, you know, someone with elderly skin, it's hard for that to heal. So it'd be like the the incision would leak, right? And then they had then it was like pressure in her brain and. But anyway, she was darling through the whole thing, sharp as a tack from the time it happened. That's so good. Oh, and and the at the very end, in the in the rehab hospital, the psychologist came in to see how she was doing. Right. You know, before they released her, he was a doll, and he goes, "Let me tell you something." He goes, "There are people in rehab here who do not know they're in this world." He goes, "But they could run. They could run." He goes, "You're going to have to learn how to walk again." But he said, you've got your mind, and what a wonderful gift that is. And I'm telling you, she they took the tube out of her mouth, and all this was hooked up to her, and she said, have I had a stroke? That was the first thing she (laughs) said. Then my little daddy said to my husband, I need you to pay my MasterCard bill. It's due. And Lucille, we thought she was sedated, and she looked over, and she goes, Jim, that does not have to be paid until March the 20th. I mean, and she knew. Well, that must have been a relief to hear that. Oh, oh my and then gosh! You came to see me do a show at the Bijou Theater yeah. in Knoxville, and I told this this first time it's ever come out of my mouth, but it's the truth. We didn't know she was even. We didn't know what in the world. We were all hysterical and worried out of our minds because she is the center yeah. of our family, really, yeah. and has been so positive and fun, and so. My cheerleader Mm -hmm. never said to me, you look fat in those pants. Like, I've got friends (laughs) whose mamas, you know, really have been buttholes. My mom might be like, you 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 were the prettiest one there. You're the smartest one that was in kindergarten. You really didn't have to go. You know, she just (laughs) always built me up. So, and so when this happened, we were all so freaked out. And she looked at us and said to me and my sister, oh, my God. Brad Pant went to Jennifer Aniston's 50th birthday party. 
And she said, I'm worried to death about Angela. She <laughs> it is gonna kill her. <laughs> and we were like, What? what? And then my sister, who is in menopause and very bitter and angry, and it does not have a Karen Nickel, to help her. Yeah. I, and I love men, love them. But she has a man, OBGYN, in Nashville that goes, you know what, sucks, but your mama went through it. Everybody has to go through it. Good luck, girl. So she's bitter and angry. So she's saying, <laughs> and is mad at the world, she goes, I hate Angela Jolie. And I've never liked her since she took Brad Pitt away from Jennifer Aniston. And then Jennifer Aniston never got to have children because, and I mean, went off on a tangent. And I was like, okay, <laughs> you need to, mama's in intensive care. Yeah, this is a healing atmosphere <laughs> for sure. Let's, let you need to pray about how you feel about Angelique Jolie Get and let it go. She's now with a bunch of kids. Yeah. Real thin, worried out of her mind. You know, God yeah. love her. Jennifer Aniston's feeling good, looking good. All she's good. okay. Yeah, she's, she's fine. okay. She's fine. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, so Lucille knew that, and um, and was just as sharp as a tack through the whole thing. That's I mean, amazing. there's been ups and downs, and she started having anxiety. They said that was normal, yeah. but she just laid up in the hospital. But okay, now I realize why you're so real thin, and you drank peach drinks, peach flavored carbonated water and not diet coke like i do <laughs> it's because you see sick people all the time yeah. if i i stayed at that hospital when i wasn't working and doing jobs which i worked a lot yeah. during this whole thing which is great but i know i thank yay for that i was booked and I, but you know you get, like the worst time when you can be the busiest of your life is when your mama gets sick but anyway i uh, flew back and forth into nashville but um but i i saw so many sick people mm-hmm. and and everybody is, and I'm sitting up here fat as mud, but everybody has eaten by it. You can tell it. Mm-hmm. People don't move. Chuck would come to the hospital and go, you need to get on tennis shoes, Lynn, and you need to walk around Vanderbilt Hospital every day. And you need to do that. And let me tell you, the food. Terrible. Terrible. It is at Vanderbilt, too? Terrible. That's, that's disappointing. Oh, and her food. Yeah. Oh, was not great, but no. it was not like healthy that you would think would be yeah. nourishing and help heal. And but I wanted to say this: nurses, oh my gosh, love a nurse. And I and everybody at Vanderbilt was around twenty three to twenty six because they're lifting and turning bodies and doing and wiping and catching. And I don't. <laughs> God did not call me to do it. That takes a special yeah. person and. For, and God made precious people that want to tend yes. to other people, and they loved her. And she would. And Mama is a encourager, and she her love language is words of affirmation. And so you know, she'd say, "Oh my darling, look, Leanne, look at her eyelashes. This is Brenda. I love Brenda. <laughs> Brenda's husband's in the military. I'm like she found out everybody's business. They all loved her, and then everybody fell in love with my daddy yeah. because my little daddy would not leave her side. Just about drove her nuts. Would say we've been together since she was 19, and I was 21, and we are deeply in love. We hold hands at, at night." and say good night and mama i would look over there and mom would like roll her eyes <laughs> because he was so far up her butt but anyway everybody fell in love with him they go oh my gosh he's the sweetest husband and he is a sweet husband yeah. but he is very n- dependent on her yeah and she has run the show as far as you know she just takes care of him and but anyway he's taking care of her now and he's washing clothes now, it may be one pair of panties, and we're trying to teach him not to do the whole load. I mean, to wait till there's more. But but he's yeah, he's learning making learning eggs how and to do doing it. yes. And that's so good. anyway, so that's where I've been, and I've been working like a fiend and flying all over the United States. And right after she had that stroke, I did a show in Abilene, Texas, with the Heart Association. Oh, and they were saying that she it was a blood pressure that she had blood pressure she, they've never called it like her blood pressure has never been high when she's gone to the doctor mm. and and that the show i did they had a physician get up and talk and he said always go like when you're at target or walmart or wherever walgreens always put your arm in that sleeve yeah because you know you have so many physical you know have a physical a year and you don't get to see your provider and so right. 
you may not have blood high blood pressure that day. So always go and take it. Yeah, and blood pre- pressure cuffs are not very expensive too. If you yeah, kept just, one at home and and not the you know you don't want to go crazy and check it six times a day because that's like watching the stock market all day. Yeah. So you know, it even having a blood pressure cuff and checking it a couple times a week under different circumstances, different times of day is yeah. is a, a useful thing. And they talked this whole time she was in the hospital about managing stress. That stress is, they all say you need to get out and move every day. Yeah. You need to get a pet. They suggested that. Yeah. And, and they've had pets all my life. They don't have one right now. Mm-hmm. But, um, but they all talked about um, eating fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm-hmm. And nourishing your body, and the, the, and her little Armenian doctor. Every time he came in, Mom would go, "Kim Kardashian." I'd be like, "Mama, they really <laughs> don't want to associate with her." <laughs> and he would say, hmm, "Don't care for her." <laughs> but anyway, he said to me, "Download the app, Twenty One Day Vegan." Hmm. Yeah. yeah. But he said, I'm a vegan and I can do, he's in his 60s and he could do so many push ups an hour. Anyway, or 10 <laughs> minutes or something. So, anyway, he was a living doll. We fell in love with him. But they all talked about moving your body. Yep. Praying or meditating, whatever yep. that is for you. Yeah. Um, moving your, moving and sleeping, how how much sleep is important. Right. When well, you, you don't told sleep, me your that blood pressure goes. That's why people with uh, like obstructive sleep apnea, will have high blood pressure. So in someone with a new diagnosis of high blood pressure, if it hasn't already been evaluated, you know, the person should be evaluated for obstructive sleep apnea. Yeah. Yeah, it raises blood pressure, increases risk if for heart If you don't sleep disease. enough? Yeah. Which I've told Chuck that. You know, because yeah. he could sit up all night. You know, he can go, go, go. He's got so much stamina, but I'm like, I need some rest. Yeah. And you need to rest, too. I don't know why he's never thought that that was important. Like, he'll hit a wall, and then, you know, he's laying in the bed watching a big thing of iced tea and NCIS or whatever, SBU or whatever that (laughs) twisted mess is, and and we have to bring him food. But that's very rare. But, you know, he just goes, goes, goes. But but I know I need sleep, and my mama's always rested well. Oh, well, that's good. I know, and she's back to resting well. But anyway, she's at home now, and I well, go back and forth and help. And um, yeah, she's, she's doing she's doing so much better, and is walking on a walker. Is she doing physical therapy? Physical therapy. Good. They come to the house, and she'll go. Oh my mm-hmm. gosh, look at Adina. Look at her eyelashes, land. She's a beauty. <laughs> she's got a baby. That baby's in you know second grade. He just had his. <laughs> it's end of the year school party, you know. She gets, and I think some of it is she's trying to talk them out of having to exercise. But anyway, yes, yeah, she has OT, PT, and Good. a nurse that comes every week. She loves, loves all of them. Oh, that's great. I well, know. I'm glad she's finally home. That was a long stretch, really long. That was, but she's really doing well. We're very lucky. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, in all that time, I was just going to work every day tending to people (laughs) with that crazy (laughs) staff you've got (laughs) they're some of the funniest people yeah yeah we have we have a pretty entertaining crew and i came in the other day and i got to be with gary i blew kisses to him through the window (laughs) and uh you were some little man had was wrapped up somehow and you were tending you were talking to Uh, him and i knew that you know chuck tells me lynn people have got real jobs and you need to leave them alone (laughs) i was gonna come in there and be up your butt and i thought she's really gotta work on people today you know so i just talked to the, all the nurses and we had a ball. Oh, I'm glad you I did. disrupted the outside, not the inside. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> well, and and we all had fun going to see the show at the Bijou. You were fabulous. Well, thank you. You, you know that the show that I have once a year in my hometown, which I do a lot in Knoxville with different organizations mm-hmm. and stuff, but this is the, fir- the, the big show that I have and my kids beg me every year, can you skip the Bijou? Because I just get it stresses me. I just want everything to go well. Yeah. And turns out they had fraud. Like people had thought they bought tickets online. There were scalpers. <gasps> really? I know. And so anyway, that kind of stuff. It just you know. And then people. I have people that will text me and go, "Hey girl, um, this is so and so from Kroger. 
you got any extra tickets? And I'm like, you know, I can't even get any from my family. And yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> I can't deal with that right. So it's just being. But thank you for coming and supporting oh, me. Was, I know you're gonna get tired of me. No, but. it was it was terrific. It was a great show. Well, really thank good, you, my darling. Yeah. Did you like my opener, Johnny W? Yes, I did like him. He's His darling. Very funny. Oh, Very good. Funny. Well, I've gotten a lot of compliments on him. I try to get people from all over the United States, and I think he lives in Nashville, but I've had people from, you know, Atlanta yeah. and North Carolina and all yeah. over. Now I've met all these boys on Dry Bar that are crazy that are out west, and so maybe I can have oh, some of them open for me. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. No, he was very, very good. I felt oh, like good. the cr- crowd was really responsive to him. Lots oh, of, good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. Well, I was back there, and Tess, my baby, was putting eyelashes on me. Okay, so in all this time on Facebook, yeah. I want to apologize to people because I kept telling you, oh, Karen, I'll do a video telling people what's going yeah, on. Yeah. But I look, my neck looks so bad. That I, <laughs> and I didn't have on false eyelashes during the day. And at the hospital, I looked so weak and pitiful. And my daddy doesn't understand the iPhone. And why is everybody on it? You know, he's 78. Yeah. yeah. And it makes him nervous when everybody gets on the phone. He's like, what are y'all doing? But um, so I did not do that. But I will be better now. Yes. And I've gotten through this rough patch. And we will do more videos. And we're even thinking about doing a live. Doing live. Performance. Or, well, recording. Recording. Yes. Yes. And your neck looks beautiful, but we can always... <laughs> We could always find you a really nice turtleneck. <laughs> I love a turtleneck. I might have to be sleeveless because I'm so hot. Because I drank margaritas for two weeks and, and straight, and I'm ashamed. But oh. I just, I and went drunk. Oh, was that at the beach? Yes, we oh. went to the beach last week. Nice. And, um, yeah, we had wonderful weather. But I drank wine and margaritas, and I could not take my rings off. I was retaining fluid, yeah. and I'm sure it was because it was hot, and I was, you know, would get a little salt on the rim. And on and the chips. And the chips the and ch- salsa, and, and uh, we went down to Rosemary Beach and ate oh, wonderful nice. food. Oh, nice. It's and, so pretty there. Yeah, so. Well, speaking of being hot and sweaty, um, <laughs> maybe we can wrap this this episode up by talking about some products that either um, my patients or our listeners on Facebook who posted on Facebook have given us a couple really good tips to deal with. I know, I'm on fire about the lotion. I know. So a, a, a listener posted on Facebook that she had found a all natural deodorant because it is hard to find a, a deodorant that works that doesn't have aluminum chloride right. in it. Right. Um, and so it is all natural. There's no aluminum chloride in it. They haven't tested it on every animal that walks the earth. So they have a stick deodorant um, that you can use under the arms. But they also make a lotion so that you can use it like in the breast folds and in the groin area. I wouldn't put it in sensitive in area. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be putting it inside anything. <laughs> Forest. Okay. But, you know, so, because I, well, I get a lot of complaints that, you know, people just sweat a lot in the groin area, in the, under the breast folds, and which leads to rashes and all kinds of things. So, oh, so there's this product. Butt crank. I mean, is that what's going on with me? Yeah. Okay. So it's a product called Lume. L U M is in Mary E with an accent over the E. I assume that's pronounced Lume. Well, I'm sure you had French, you smart thing. <laughs> so uh, it's called Lume, L U M E with an accent over the E. And um, and I've had a few patients try it and, and really like it. It's supposed to last for 72 hours, is their claim. <gasps> so And you don't sweat in your folds for yeah. 72 hours? Where do you get this? Do you know? Uh, I, I, I think you just get it online. They have a website. I think it's lume.com. Oh. Um, and you just get it online and order it online. Oh, well, I'm on fire. I know. You know, I sweat so much under my breast yeah. that I will take off my bra. Well, that may be just that my breasts are too heavy. And <laughs> but that, and my bra will just stick. I can, like, let it hang. If I wanted to do that, it's part of my act. <laughs> my girls... Or 23 and 21, and they go, yuck, mom. 
because they'll be like laying in my band. I take my clothes off and they're, you know, watching Netflix or something and I'm hanging with my bra <laughs> and I could hold it like a circus act. And they are like, yuck, you know, because they're not, they don't know what's coming. I know. And I God just did Zumba them. today. You did three classes, which you frail thing. I don't know. You got to hydrate. We're in Tennessee and it's 90 something today. It is hot. Um, and you did all those classes and I just did one, but all those women in there are in Perry. You can tell yeah. they're like late thirties, early forties. Yeah. And you just want to cry for them because they don't know. Like one day, <laughs> <laughs> don't know what's coming down the pike. I know. You know, and it, and they'll one day yeah. not feel good and be tired. And, and I said to one of them today, I go, just wait because. I don't mean to be Debbie Downer, but like you'll be so angry at middle school, <laughs> other parents, <laughs> and you won't be able to cope. <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh, gosh, yeah. If somebody I mean, hurt your baby, you'd uh, be. Yeah. Oh. Not good. Not good. <laughs> and I remember feeling just rage and thinking, I I can't wait to be out of here and I can't. Da, da. But I would, my hormones were so yeah. up and down. I was in perimenopause and I didn't know. Yeah, it's that's that at 35 to 50 can be some rough years. If you, there are things to do about it, yeah, fear not. But, if you've got but it's, somebody, but it's 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 tricky, it's a tricky time, it, you know. So, the other thing I got um, from a patient actually, a tip from a patient is a product called the Bed Jet, like B E D J E T, Bed Jet, and it is a little device that you put at the end of your bed and you put the little vent thing that um, between your fitted and your flat sheet and it blew, blows cool air on you through the night. I wonder if you just need to lay with your legs spread and let, <laughs> so it can come up all the way up to the top of your hand, you know? But doesn't it sound yeah. wonderful? Even though, you know, I let two beagles sleep in the bed, which they're, they're probably killing me. But um, I don't know if, well, they'd probably enjoy the you cool air, have... too. They get hot. Yeah. I don't know. But isn't that something? Pretty good. So, uh, yeah, this page, actually, she told me that her, I think her brother bought it for their mother and she stole it from her mother because her mother was like i don't know if i'm going to use that and she's like okay i'll be taking that wow so yeah she and so it, it's it on works. a website their it's, website yeah, i think it's just bedjet.com i was just looking at it oh my gosh there's more cooling products have you I noticed know. like mattresses now that yeah. have got cooling technology in them yeah i think tempur has come out with one well i think they had to do that because it it, it retains so heat yeah so it is bedjet.com if you want to check it out. Oh, my gosh. And, um, okay, and I was telling you that I follow some young boy that talks about Whole Foods. I know I follow everybody that talks about Whole Foods, and then <laughs> I don't always eat Whole Foods. But anyway, he was uh, on Rachel Ray, and she was talking about how good-looking he was, and he just looked out into space like, I don't want to be harassed Rachel and so then it got awkward but anyway he was telling her about um and I thought Rachel Ray God love her you know she's been around a while and she didn't know not to talk about boys I ams I mean this boy's probably 30 something but you know but anyway he he just he did not go along with it and so anyway he was telling her about the blank wool and it is a weighted blanket but it's cooling and it cools you and I looked it up and they're they're like 250 dollars but that's a lot but it you know that would be cooling at yeah. night and we bought my mom a weighted blanket at bed bath beyond and she has loved that thing and it because she was having anxiety yeah it's called calming and she just and she cold i don't know what it was but she felt like she was freezing from within she said i've never felt like that before and that's gotten so much better but that big old weighted blanket and my little daddy had been like we're wrestling that weighted blanket all night. <laughs> <laughs> she goes jim don't take away my weighted blanket so um but uh i need to get one of those because it does be, feel comforting to have something 
Hit me on you so when you go to bed. You, how are we spelling that? B L A N Q U I L L, I think. Oh, blank. Blank will. You know me, I don't follow through. <laughs> Next, Karen, if y'all could see, of course, she's an academic person. She's got notes and, is, and back stuff up with facts. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I think I heard something about <laughs> something that was called, I don't know, what was that? But anyway. She's got all of the yeah, but I think it's blank wool. Blank wool. We'll yes. Have to check that out. Maybe uh, we can put that on our website. Yes. The link to that and Bedjet. Yes. And, and we want to talk about products in the future, like like panties that hold urine, a, <laughs> a teaspoon of urine if you need it to, and other kind of cosmetics and and body products and things that you know don't have hor- horrible things in it that cause um cancer the cancer but also <laughs> oh. what is the estrogen the the um estrogen dominance what what are we talking about um the fake estrogen the the um like when you said you you when we drink out of plastic bottles oh, oh the xeno estrogen xeno <laughs> and that can happen through all kinds of yeah products yeah and Plastic bottle, and I heard Chuck saying to somebody the other day, "Have you heard that all the plastic bottles, if we don't stop using them oh. by the two thousand and fifty, there's going to be more plastic bottles than fish?" Oh yeah, it's already oh. almost that bad. <laughs> yeah, I bought some straws to carry in my purse. You good for you? Uh, the stainless steel, and I'm in a little brush. Perfect. And notice that I've got, you know, a cup, Tervis. And see that stainless steel straw. Oh, that's so good. I can just wash it and Perfect. then. Yeah, and I, You're I'm going to quit drinking out of plastic bottles. I don't want that. I, I love a turtle. <laughs> I don't want anything to happen. I you mean, how horrible! That straw up a turtle's nostril. I don't. No. And I don't like a paper straw, but I'll do it. I mean, I don't <laughs> care if it gets soggy. <laughs> you know, I just. Mm. I don't want that to happen. But anyway, I know you've been conscious of all that. Way before I was, I was just been, you know, trying to survive. (laughs) Okay. So we're going to wrap this up. I know. I just was so tickled to see you. I've talked my head off. I'm glad. Everybody needed to know what you're up to. I know. I want everybody to know that my little mama Lucille is doing so much better. And we're going to now be doing Sweaty and Pissed and Regularly. releasing yes, yes. episodes yes. and we're back yes and i think next episode we'll talk about um all the questions that people have submitted on our facebook page um, and we can go through some or all of those questions and give some answers oh i know well i can't but you can well, <laughs> oh and and can i tell people that i will be in um this summer in tampa and orlando at clubs and they can go to liammorgan.com i really need to sell tickets okay i mean what's the worst thing that could happen to a menopausal woman for to show up and not have many seats (laughs) sold you know what i'm saying (laughs) karen so so people can just look at liammorgan.com because i'm i'm being booked more and more around the united states that are not private corporate things that are more now for the public public. and so they can get it yes check the dates and the venues and, yes, and per- and actually purchase tickets. For, yes, they can from uh, on your website or a yes. link to purchase and, tickets. And yes, okay, oh, I know, I know. Your manager's working for you, sister. That's good. I know he's worked like a dog, and he puts up with a lot. <laughs> you know, he's been through my thyroid. I mean, several things. <laughs> I need to give him your number and let you explain because <laughs> he's had to deal with me. Oh, but anyway, all right, you don't. Well, it's been great to be back with our listening audience and back with you and and back with Forrest. And we'll see you next time. All righty, bye bye. Bye. Sweaty and pissed. Sweaty and pissed.